Twas the night before Christmas, and all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children, all nestled, all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. Mama in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new-fallen snow gave the luster of midday to objects below. And what to my wondering eyes should appear? But a miniature sleigh and a tiny reindeer with a little old driver so lively and quick I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles his coursers they came and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen, to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all, as dry leaves before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle and mount to the sky, so up to the housetop the coursers they flew with the sleigh full of toys. And St. Nicholas, too. And then, in a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoop. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys was flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his sack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and his beard on his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke, it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a round little belly that shook when he laughed, like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf. And I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk. And laying his finger alongside of his nose, he gave me a nod, and up the chimney he rose. He sprung to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew, like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim, as he drove out of sight, Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. Ho, 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 ho. Often referred to as the night before Christmas or twas the night before Christmas, A Visit from St. Nicholas was originally written in the early 19th century. Uh, we are attributing here both Clement Clark Moore and Henry Livingston Jr. as the authors of this poem. It was first published December 23rd, 1823 in the Troy Sentinel newspaper from New York. Now, over the many years, and for as long as I can remember, it was always a tradition in our house on Christmas Eve to watch Scrooge, or A Christmas Carol, um, later on. Scrooged with Bill Murray became another favorite of ours, but mainly a reading of The Night Before Christmas was 
a tradition in our family. So now that I'm back being a part of the CKHR family, I feel it's only natural to carry on the tradition and give you the the pleasure of passing on to yours the night before Christmas. Merry Christmas, everyone, from all of us here at CKHR FM 107.3 in Hay River. And all the best in the coming year.